Hey, what's up everyone? It's your girl Brian Shanae and today I'm going to be doing a tag today and that would be the foodie book tag which I was tagged by Madison Green and she has a great channel and I do watch her videos a lot. So I was definitely tagged by her. Thank you so much for tagging me and um, let's go ahead and get started with these questions now, shall we? But first, let's go ahead and do this intro real quick, okay? Every single day The, like I said, I was tied by Madison Green. Thank you. But the first question is, McDonald's, a book that was easy to get through, but wasn't that great? I'm going to go with um, From Twinkle with Love by uh, Cyndia uh, Minan. It was okay. Um, it was a little bit difficult getting through because there's so much going on, but... Um, it is what it is. I had a hard time getting through it because I just got bored. It really wasn't like, it wasn't like enticing where, oh my gosh, I want to know more. I want to see what happens. Da, 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 da. It was just like, meh. So I would definitely have to say from Twinkle with Love. And yeah. The uh, second question is Chick-fil-A. Yum. A book that you flew through and really enjoyed. I'm going to go with Pride by Ibby the Boy. Um this was a great book um i really loved it due to the fact that it is a pride and prejudice remix and i just it i love pride and prejudice of course by jane austen uh which was great the original but i also love this by ibiza boy too because it kept me turning pages and this was also an urban retelling it's a black and latinx um book that we have going on here where um it's people of color um, and it's located in Brooklyn. So you get a, an urban perspective of Pride and Prejudice in a different context. And it's a, it's when a girl and a boy they uh, named Darius, they um, are in a, well, I would say they're in a community where it's the hood, pretty much. So that's the different perspective that you're going to be getting from. So I definitely enjoy Pride and Prejudice. I float through it. It is a fast read, but it's so worth it and so great. So I really loved and enjoyed this book. And then we have the third question, Zaxby's, which I never had. And we don't have a Zaxby's in Columbus, Ohio, I don't think. We might have one in Dayton or Cincinnati, but I'm not really positive. And the first thing, and the question is, it says, a book that costs a little more than you wanted to pay, but was totally worth it. Okay, for this particular question, sorry, that's my son. But for this particular question, I haven't read this book yet, but it cost me so much money, you guys. Like, it really was a lot, but you know when it comes to hardcovers, books are are going to be expensive um i haven't read this book yet but i plan on doing so because the second book recently just came out like a couple days ago and that is renegades uh by marissa mayer but i know people call marissa meyer so i'm gonna call marissa, Ma marissa meyer even though it's mayor but oh well um renegades uh i got this from barnes noble this was like 22 bucks that's including tax and that's crazy you know but yeah i definitely have to say this book renegades but i definitely could not resist due to the fact that of the cover but yeah, this book cover was really enticing, so I just had to get it. And you, and if you have read this, you already know why. Um, before you read it, you definitely look, look, looked at the book cover and you're like, oh my gosh, I definitely have to get this. So yes, this, this book was expensive, but it was worth it due to the fact of the book cover is gorgeous. And the fourth question we got right now is Red Lobster. I love Red Lobster. But anyway, it's a book that takes place near or on the ocean. And the only book that I could think of that was, um, that has parts of it on the ocean. Um, it's not always around the ocean. Um, but I'll have to say Everything, Everything by Nicola Yoon. Uh, they actually go to Hawaii and they actually go and swim in the ocean because that's one of her, um, the main characters, um, excuse me maddie's uh main thing that she wants to do um is go to hawaii and swim in the ocean so i definitely i like this book but i know there have been some people that do not like this book but 
I do. And I like the characters. I like the whole little love story that I got going on. I think it's beautiful. Um, and the cover is just gorgeous. I really love it. I, like, I really, really love this cover. It's amazing. But yeah, I definitely don't have to say every, everything, everything, because there was a scene where they were at the ocean. So there you go for that question. And the fifth question is, is Olive Garden, um, a book that gave you everything you wanted and more. And I'm going to go with A Children of Blood and Bone, My Tummy and Yenny. Eddie Emmy. I know a lot of people did not really enjoy this book, but I did. Um, I like the premise of this book. I like everything about it. It's fantasy, which I'm, I was hyped over most of the year. Um, I love the character building. I love the world building. I love everything about it. They went on these adventures just to try to get the Magi's magic back, which I think is amazing. And it's about people that are lost and have been disenfranchised and oppressed. And I feel like this book just was, it was a, like a, a, a breath of fresh air for me at least and I really enjoyed this book and I really really loved it and I can't wait for the second one to come out which I think next year in March I believe that's when the the next one is which I think is going to be a virtue and vengeance is the next book I believe they haven't had a cover reveal yet so I can't wait to see what the cover is going to be be looking like because this cover right here is like epic for me but yeah I definitely would have to go with this book and the sixth question is Cracker Barrel, which I love. If you like Cracker Barrel, definitely go get the Mama's Pancake Breakfast because that's the only thing that I get every time I go because it's the best breakfast ever and it's cheap. It's affordable. <laughs> I'm getting ahead of myself. But um, Cracker Barrel, a book that brings you comfort. A book that, bre that has recently brought me comfort would definitely be Harry Potter and the Chamber of Secrets due to the fact that his friend... Um, he was pretty much imprisoned <laughs> in the house um, with his aunt and uncle and his crazy um, cousin, um, Dudley. And I, I think the thing that I love most about it is that um, you have Ron and his um, brothers, Fred and George, come and save him so that he can go to Hogwarts for his second um, year. But yeah, for his second year, and I really, I really love that. That it brought comfort to me because when I, I've like, I've seen the movies, I know what happens, but just reading it, it makes you think, oh my gosh, are they gonna get him? When are when are they gonna save Harry from his crazy family? Like when, when? But I definitely think like this move, this book particularly brought me comfort. So I would definitely have to say Harry, Harry Potter, Harry Potter, Harry Potter and the Chamber of Secrets. And this is the 20th edition, if you all didn't know, just to let you know. Oh, the seventh question is buff Buffalo Wild Wings, but in Columbus we call it B-dubs. Maybe other people do as well, or other states, I don't know, but we call it B-dubs. And it's a book that was a little hectic, but was a lot of fun of. Um, there really wasn't a book that was hectic for me, actually. Uh, so I can't really answer that question. So let's go ahead and go to the next one. And that is Taco Bell. And a book that you know isn't that that isn't that great, but you love anyway. Um, I'm gonna go back and refer to from Tool Good Love. Yes, um, I did not really enjoy this book. Um, I don't know. I, there's really not a lot to say. I think I really wanted to push through it due to the fact that I really loved the first book and I really loved the author. But I think I loved the the premise of the of the story. It just was lagging. Um, but I did like the ending of it. Um, this was the eighth question. Yeah, it was the eighth question is, um, it isn't that great, but I got it anyway. And I just read it because of the ending where she finally helps her family because her family isn't really that, um, doesn't really have a lot of money. And she pursues, pursues her dreams by being a filmmaker and everything like that. And I think that was definitely that kept me pushing on. Um, because the I think the story was just important because if you want to really do something with your life and you want to pursue it go ahead and do it what do you, you know go ahead and do it and I'm I'm actually following my own um, advice right now because I was scared to do booktube but I told myself like why not I really love books why don't I just do it and so I'm doing it so if you have something that you really want to do go ahead and do it go ahead and if you have something in mind that you'd like to do or just want to tell me, you can always leave that in the comments below and we'll start a conversation. But I will go with this book for the eighth question. And the ninth question is Waffle House. And it's a book that was better than you expected. Um, I'm going to have to go with Tiger Lily by Joni Lynn Anderson. This was a great book. I did not know what I was going to get. I did not know if it was going to give me a great perspective of Tiger Lily. But it was phenomenal. Um, it's more darker 
than any other um, Peter Pan retelling or anything like that that I was um, that I have seen before or heard of. Um, this is basically from Tiger Lily perspective, but told by Tinkerbell. Um, and I really enjoyed this book. It was amazing. I've like I've read it many many times, and it was just awesome. Um, I can really say it has made you, it's made me cry, but it also tells you about Tiger Lily, how she was not, well in this book she wasn't a distressed, she wasn't a damsel in distress, she was actually a woman that actually did her own thing and um, demanded respect and she didn't need a man to tell her what to do, but there was a lot of things in this book and a lot of perspectives and um, concept in this book so I think is very important and if you want to know more about this book I definitely will leave a link up above with the review that I gave this book but definitely I would have to say this this was a great book I was not expecting it to be this great but I definitely will say this book and last but not least we we have the 10th book and I love this restaurant by the way love it Madison love it <laughs> and that is the Cheesecake Factory but anyway it's um, a book that served you something extra sweet and the book that served me something extra sweet, I have to go in Dimple Met Rishi by uh, Sinmaya Aminan. This is the first book that she had written. Um, and she's the one that also, uh, uh, oh God, uh, wrote this book, which I was just talking about from Twinkle with Love. Um, and this book was amazing. I really love the story. And this goes about of what I just said about a girl, about doing something that you want to do, go ahead and do it. And she made sure she wanted to follow, fulfill her dreams before she fell in love or ever got or settled down with somebody or was trying to get married. She wanted to do something she wanted to do without being married. You know what I mean? So, and she, she did it. And I, this gave me the warm, <laughs> this was just amazing because um, she also met um, Rishi who admired the fact that she wanted to do something on her own and I think that's great and I love that factor but anyway I would have to say this book but that is the end of all of our the questions that I have Madison this was a great tag by the way this is awesome love it if you I can't there's not really a lot of people that I know that I know that like doing tags because some people decide some people think that tags are dumb or whatever but I think tags are fun um, but there's not a particular person that I want to tag, but if you would like to do this video, then you are officially tagged, like literally officially tagged. And if you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. Also hit that subscribe button and that bell so that you'll be notified when I upload more videos in the future. But if you have any comments about the books that I picked or just want to have a chat with me, just hit me up down below in the comments. But thank you so much, you guys. See ya.